Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we are going to be looking into the console of Blender, the one that's built in, the, the terminal essentially. If you ever use a terminal it's, it's very similar to that. Um, and why we would end up using it. So let's go ahead and go to our scripting tab and I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger here and that bigger as well. There's a lot of things here that we can see. Uh, we're not going to like probably look at much of this. Some of this is very useful, such as these. We can just use these variables, but uh, that's not quite what I was wanting to explain in this. This is this is going to be how to access uh, object data, mainly. So like a lot of times when we when we code over here, especially in the past, we've we've learned how to access object data over here. Uh, so why use the console? Well, the console is a very easy way of accessing and and getting the information of like let's say this cube. Uh, so for instance, just try typing in uh, bpy dot data dot objects. This is a common one that you should probably use often. Uh, well, and just type enter. It was going to give an output. Everything that we put into the console, there will be an output. Everything. And so we can look at this output. Even even things that just run will have an output of some sort. So uh, let's look. Let's look at this out. This output. What does it do? Uh, well, it doesn't really tell us a whole lot, actually. It tells us that there's three items. There's uh, if you ever see like uh, a name of something and then the uh, these brackets, then you know it's a list or a vector. If you're familiar in other in other uh, programming languages. So uh, maybe what we can do is just list them out. So let's now do list.bpy. Actually, let's make this a little bit easier. Let's name bpy.data.objects to uh, my objects. So we don't have to maybe type all that stuff out again. And we can do that within the terminal. And from this point forward, if we ever reference my objects, whoop, my objects, it will output the same thing. So now we can just do uh, list my objects, and it will now list all of the objects within the scene. This is handy because we now know that this list at the array of at the array or list index of cube is our cube. So that's cool. Let's let's do something with that. Let's um let's do my my objects dot uh and then just do cube. Oh what did I type in? Oh it's a capital. There we go. Mate it does everything is case sensitive within this as well. So that's that's good. That's good to know. Um so that's really handy. Now you could even say instead of having to type out my objects cube, we could just type in my cube is equal to my objects cube. Now if we ever reference my cube, it will always be our cube. Uh so yeah, this is this is really useful. Um, now, why would you just need a name of a cube? You probably don't, honestly. But what you do want from this is, is things like this: delta location, which gives the location uh, in a vector format of your object. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other types of things with within Blender that we can do to access data within the term within this console. Um, so this is really handy. You should use it often when you're scripting just to get more information because you don't know all the time what's happening within Blender. And so this is a good opportunity to be able to know more of the background and what's what were the programmers even thinking doing certain things with Blender. And we can we can find that out from the terminal uh, from the console very easily. And then we can implement it to our scripts for whatever script you're trying to do. 
Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned. I'm hoping to come uh, back into the console and give a little bit more information as to like even modifying some of the, your objects up here with just a, a simple line or two. So um, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time on Bunner Know How.